The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In example one, we learned that the numbers three, four, and five satisfy the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared because 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, or 9 plus 16 equals 25. Therefore, a triangle that has sides with lengths of 3, 4, and 5 must be a right triangle by the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Note that any group of three integer values that satisfies the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared, such as 3, 4, and 5, is called a Pythagorean triple. Therefore, any triangle that has side lengths that form a Pythagorean triple must be a right triangle, such as the 3, 4, 5 triangle we've been discussing. If we multiply each integer, in the 3, 4, 5 triple by 2, we have 6, 8, and 10, which is another Pythagorean triple. Pause the audio for a moment to see if 6, 8, and 10 satisfy the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared and must therefore be a Pythagorean triple. Moving on, if we multiply each integer in the 3, 4, 5 triple by 3, we have 9, 12, and 15, which is another Pythagorean triple. And if we multiply each integer in the 3, 4, 5 triple by 4, we have 12, 16, and 20, which is another Pythagorean triple, and so on. Feel free to check any of these triples to make sure that they satisfy the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Another family of Pythagorean triples comes from the integers 5, 12, and 13 because 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared or 25 plus 144 equals 169. Like the 3, 4, 5 family of Pythagorean triples, if we multiply each of the integers in the 5, 12, 13 triple by 2, we have 10, 24, and 26, which is another Pythagorean triple, and so on. Two other families of Pythagorean triples to be aware of are the 8, 15, 17 family and the 7, 24, 25 family. It's very important to take a moment to memorize all of the Pythagorean triples you see here, because any time you see a triangle in this section that has side lengths that match one of these Pythagorean triples, you'll know that it's a right triangle without having to do any work. So if you memorize these triples now, it will save you a significant amount of time in the long run, not just in this section, but throughout the remainder of the course.